Washington activated its emergency operations center to deal with the coronavirus. Kara Evans, Lindsay Sheldon continues our team coverage at Camp Murray, where health officials are closely monitoring cases here in Washington. I'm here at the Emergency Operations Center at Camp Murray. Now, this is the same place that would be activated if Mount Rainier erupted or if there were a major earthquake. All these people here behind me are helping with planning and logistics for health officials. And as you can see on these big screens here, they are also keeping a close eye on the number of cases of coronavirus in China as well as around the world. And we are, uh, have no evidence that this virus is spreading in the state. Dr. Kathy Lofi says the risk to the general public is still low, despite the fact that 67 people have now been identified and are being monitored after being in close contact with someone infected. That's up a few people from yesterday. Newly released numbers show only one confirmed case of coronavirus. Seven people tested have been found negative for the virus. Eight people are waiting for results, with a total tested at 16. Every day we are ruling out patients um, whose results come back negative, but we're also adding more people to the list of people under investigations because we are getting phone calls from providers who are recognizing travelers from Wuhan. Health officials say the Snohomish County man with a confirmed case is still in satisfactory condition at Providence Regional Medical Center. It's been a week since he was admitted. Um, given it is the first uh, patient here in the here in the United States, and there's still there, there's more we need to learn about this novel coronavirus. I think they've been extra sort of conservative. In Wuhan, the State Department is airlifting some Americans out of the country, but capacity is limited. Sam Roth's family are in Wuhan visiting relatives, and Roth wants them to get on the U.S. flight out. I'm trying to make the case that we've got a 10 month old, we've got a five year old, they're susceptible. And British Columbia is reporting its first case today. They say that a man in his 40s arrived in Vancouver last week after traveling to Wuhan and started developing symptoms 24 hours later. His test results came back positive for coronavirus last night. Reporting live at Camp Murray, I'm Lindsay Sheldon, Cairo 7 News.